Okay, I believe that. Oh no, I think that was a misclick. All right, that's gonna be Daisy on Primeape, and it's gonna be XZV Vile on Bleaspin. All right, Daisy immediately applying this pressure, but now, ooh, two meters. Oh, misses messes up the guard break setup, but it doesn't matter. Now Daisy is in the corner having to block for his life. Calls out the Ken RPS correctly. All right, game one goes to Vile. I can tell this is already going to be some high speed gameplay. It's just going to be impact after impact after impact. All right, they are not wasting time on neutral. Here we go. Oh, what? What was that play? Like five, three, three, five A's in a row. Oh, the jab. There you go. Game, <laughs> game two. You can already tell these are going to be very fast games, but it looks like Daisy is looking to slow it down with Polyrath. A character well known for taking you to the timeout screen. The timeout. But Vile is not having that. It looks like he's acting like he knows his matchup like the back of his hand. Even though he started only showing up to these weeklies relatively uh, recently, really. He's very good at using the this two two B to get Paul uh, Daisy into the corner, so that he can set up for Ken mix ups, whiffs the ground, but it doesn't matter. He's not going to get punished for it. Ooh, Daisy's going to land another power up punch. If you don't know Polyrath's gimmick, the more of those power up punches he lands, the more of his the fingers go up on his on his UI. You can see now he's at four full fingers, which means. That the next time he uses 6 speed, it's going to keep doing more and more damage, and now it's going to be doing tons of damage, but it doesn't matter because XC Vile is going to bring it to game 3. Christ, I need water. <laughs> Daisy going back to Primeape. Vile just not having any of the immediately going for the 6A. Daisy has him in the corner now. Now Daisy is in the corner. But no, now they're back in neutral. They're both trying to get in. Vile gets in with a very good JA. Vile on a smidge of health left. I don't think he's going to be able to bring this back. Yep. Alright. JJB. Throw back. Oh, now Vile is in the corner. Throws Daisy back into the corner. Fire Super Ball or whatever. Super Fireball, I mean. There you go. Alright. Daisy's on the ropes now. She has to bring this back. If she wants to if she wants to bring this to a game five. Which means she's going to have to lock in. Stop Vile from doing what he wants to do. And you can see Daisy is very good at using Primeape's tools. She can very good at just locking down the corner with those good mix-ups like J A J B. Now we're gonna go on to game <sighs> game four. Vile going on to Beware. An unexpected choice. 5B hug. Alright. Now Vile is in the corner, and Daisy seems like she's dominating the matchup. But yeah! You can tell Daisy knows what's to do what to do here. You can already tell Vile is not. He's realizing maybe Beware wasn't the best choice for him. Did he try to two way, two way, two way, two way, two way for the knockdown? That was 
for something. I'm gonna go back to Blaziken. He's not gonna have doubts about this matchup anymore. Because he knows that he's done it once and he can do it again. He can win. Now it's game five. You can see Daisy using her very good primate to rule over the corner. Alright, 2B in the corner. Very strong move. 2 meters. Vile's gonna kill off that. Alright. Ooh! That was very good, but he did not get the follow-up off that, that 4A, 5A, uh, 2A. Alright. Ooh. Good confirms here by DayZ. It looks like Vile doesn't want to give her a chance. Yep, there you go. Vile wins the set.